everybody. For this week's assignment, we had to take action um, towards social justice and advocacy. And so for what I decided to do was I emailed our senators for North Carolina, um, uh, Senator Tom Tillis and Richard Burr. Um, and what I did is I wanted to focus on um, our students in the public school system to advocate for them. I grew up in North Carolina. I attended public schools all the way up to 12th grade. Um, I had some, you know, so I experienced it, the public school system as a student. And I am now finishing up my third year of teaching in a North Carolina school system. I began my teaching career in Wake County and for Raleigh, you know, I had lots of resources there. Um, it was a good experience. And then I moved, when I moved to back to Greenville to go back to grad school, I began teaching in Greene County. And um, really, once I moved to Greene County, that's when I really um, started, I guess my eyes were open to more social injustices that, you know, are right here in our state. Um, for, well, Green County is a very rural community, um, very low socioeconomic status um, households where students come from. And um, so just like most children, most students that I've found um, as in my teaching career here, uh, students that I'm working with, they, you know, their parents work odd shifts. Most parents, their highest degree obtained was a high school diploma. Um, so they might be working second, third, fourth, or second and third shift. Um, so most of our students are at in the high school level, at least they find themselves taking up a lot of their parents, um, you know, what most people would consider parent, you know, type responsibilities of making sure their younger siblings have dinner or where they're supposed to be or up for school the next morning. Um, things that I know that I myself did not have to worry about when I was um, 15 years old. But, um, but I found that most of these kids if they don't advocate for themselves, they don't have an advocate, and you know they just kind of continue in this poverty cycle that um, we see too often. Um, but what I decided to do was to email our senators. With um, you know, lots of changes have gone on in the past few months with um, administration changes through you know locally, state, um, national administration changes and so what I wanted to do was I emailed my senators with just from my school as a student experience and school you know teaching in a public school system experience um, to hopefully that when they are you know up doing their their jobs that they will keep some of these um, you know anecdotes in their mind um, as they are making rules laws um, and so on about mainly dealing with education. Um, one of the concerns that I emailed them about was the um, potential cuts of programs, such as like programs in arts, um, physical education. Um, it kind of just trickles down from there. Um, but I've, you know, myself and like especially working in a low um, socioeconomic um, community, I've seen the power of these programs and how these programs um, enhance student education, it's like it might be that one art class that is getting this 16 year old student coming to school every day instead of dropping out. Like I believe in that these these classes definitely enhance students um, education and I think that they're important and they should should not be cut from a, from um, public education. And I also emailed them concerning teacher salary. I, in my three years of teaching, I've seen so many teachers that have been, you know, beginning teachers to veteran teachers that have gone elsewhere because they have just found themselves in a tough bind with the salary that they're obtaining from being a public school teacher and trying to keep up with life's expenses. Um, so those were two of the things, and I think that both of those, you know, these quality teachers that are leaving the profession every day like who is that gonna leave our kids with in the end like it's just a, a cycle too that you know to keep quality teachers what they need to quality pay and so I just wanted to make my voice heard on those two issues among other things to our senators hoping that they will um, 
I need to listen and respond. I got emails back from both of them, so that was really cool. Um, but hopefully that, you know, just those personal stories might influence them um, when they are at meetings and making um, laws. So thanks.